With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Two very long straight and insulated wire are kept at 90 degree from each other in x5 plane as shown in the figure. Carry equal current of magnitude i whose direction are shown in the figure then net magnetic field at point p will be. So you can uh, imagine that the magnetic field at point P because of both the current carrying wire will be either into the plane or out of the plane, right? So if if I talk about uh, the magnetic field because of this AB wire, so from the right hand thumb rule, if you uh, keep the thumb along the direction of current flow in the AB wire, then the magnetic field at P will be inward. Simple. So similarly, if I keep the direction of the thumb in the direction of current flowing in CB wire, then the magnetic field at P because of this CB wire will be upward. So this is because of the CD wire and this is because of the AD wire. Now, we know that because of an infinite current carrying wire, the magnetic field is. So let's suppose this is an infinite current carrying wire. So if I take a point at a distance d, right? So at d point, the magnetic field will be mu naught i by 2 pi d simple so if i talk about the magnetic field because of the ab wire is b1 and because of the cd wire is b2 then you can see already the both wire are carrying the same current and the distance of the perpendicular distance of the point p from the, the two wire is d only right so i will write the magnitude because of ab wire is equals to magnitude of the uh, magnetic field because of the CD wire is equals to this, right? Now, we want the net magnitude of the magnetic field. So, I will add the two vectorially. Now, you can see the diagram again. The AB is into the plane and because of the CD is out of the plane, right? Okay. So this is because of the AB and you can see we have calculated the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic field because of the AB is into the plane. Plus out of the filling. So these two will add up and the net magnetic field will be zero, right? Since the both are having same magnitude and opposite direction, anti parallel. So this will be your answer. Simple. Now you can see the question again. This was our question and we got zero as the answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.